Hey, we're here to do your walkthrough on your 2007 Hornet 258. Let's get started. Here's your spare tire in case you need it. Hopefully you don't. So your bumper, main reason for your bumper is for your sewer hose. That you just hook that to the connector for the uh, to the tanks, pull gate valves, and help drain your tanks. Here's your stabilizer jacks. They're just there to stabilize the trailer. They're not actually there to lift it or level it. So right here is your gate valves. You hook the hose up to here, pull the handles, and that'll drain your tanks. This right here is your uh, shore cord. Here for your 30 amp service, you got about 20 feet, so good length for most campgrounds. This right here is your city water connection. So if you're a full service site, hook the hose up and power, uh, so direct supply for the water to your trailer so you don't have to run off your uh, fresh water tank. Go into a shower here. Inside your 20 pound propane tank, one or two. Of course, to turn it on, left. Lock it up. Put your exterior light here. This right here is your uh, buttons for the legs to extend and retract. No front compartments. up here to the latch here got your 12 volt deep cycle battery and this handle right here is for if the motors conk out you just go to the one leg on the side here go through that and you can manually adjust the legs that's if the motors go Got your other side, uh, your other 20 pound propane tank, and you got the manual, you got your regulator and the manual changeover. So this one goes to your other side, this one goes to this side. Okay. Got your plug in here, which is hooked up right to the GFI. Got your hot water tank here. Now here is your fresh water tank fill. So if you guys are going to be doing a lot of dry camping where there's no uh, where there's no uh, direct supply of water, you could just fill this up with fr fresh water, and you could run off the water pump. Got your uh, furnace exhaust. Do be careful. Th this does get hot pretty quick. This is your fridge axe uh, port uh, for any work that needs to be done. That's your vent lid for your range to, uh, for your stove. compartment got your uh, uh, tool for the stabilizer jacks or you can also use a drill so choose this is for your awning you do it being a windy day today I'm not gonna take out the awning because it, if the wind grabs it it will tear it off the trailer so just be mindful don't take your awning out on a windy day but in order to uh, take it out flip that little notch down insert the, uh, the rod into this uh, into here and pull out when you're ready to uh, bring the awning in flip that up and the awning will start rolling in slowly so make sure when you're rolling it in keep this in that little loop when you're when it's rolling up Now to go inside your trailer, bring out your stairs. Okay, so I got your entrance door. Use this on the latch. Clip it into place. And your screen door. There you go.
your keys here. This is your entrance door key. And the rest of the, the keys are for your compartment doors. So door com compartments. Get your fire extinguisher there. Now well, this right here is your slide out button. <coughs> Be mindful before you take the slide out, make sure there's nothing on the outside that to, that's too close so the slide won't hit anything. So once you hear that noise, the slide out is all the way out. So right here, this is your mono, mono panel. So right here, you got an empty, third, two thirds and full. So that goes for your gray tank, black tank, fresh tank, and your battery. Your battery will show low, fair, good, great. And then that's just there to make sure you have, uh, that's just there to show you that your battery has juice. This is to, if you're running off your fresh water tank, this is the button for your water pump. This panel right here is for your hot water tank. You can either run it on propane or electricity. Make sure before you turn the hot water tank on, make sure there's water in it so it doesn't burn out anything. So I've got your lights right here. So this button, this button right here is for your the lights on inside of the trailer. And this button right here is for the porch light outside. Player extinguisher, you got your little panel right, uh, table that folds up. So basically everything else, all the other lights you need to turn on with the little switches in the middle. Windows. And so this one to open the bottom, we just turn that knob. Microwave, like a standard type of microwave. Range top. I really gotta use a barbecue lighter. There we go. And then to light the oven, go to the pilot, push in. There we go. Now the pilot light's lit up. Make sure you keep pushing the this knob in for several seconds to make sure the pilot doesn't go out. And then there we go. Right here is your, where all your fuses and breakers are. This is your LP detector, so it detects if there's any propane leaks. <coughs> so for your fridge, you have the two settings. You could go on the auto, so that's gonna be running off your 110 power. If there's nothing to end, if there's no power detector, or if there's loss of power, it'll automatically go over to gas. Or if you just want to go straight to gas, go like that. And you can adjust the coldness with this. Got your bunk beds here. So your washroom. So your toilet here. Push this knob down halfway. Fill it up with water. You do your business and then push down all the way to drain. Got your knob here for the lights. All right, sink, shower, and this right here, your vent. So your dinette, and which also turns into a bed, so you just lift this up, take the legs out, and Lay them on the little lips here, and it turns into a bed. Use the two cushions in the middle. So with the light here. Okay. And your coach turns into a bed. And then over here, this is where your smoke detector is. Got your audio entertainment system here. So, your thermostat here. So you got the uh, several settings. So you can either go to fan, or if you want the AC on, 
do anything, adjust the temperature. Make sure we're, if you're running on cool uh, AC or heat, make sure it's on the auto, auto setting. And then heat. So your AC runs on 120 power, so your short cord power, and will not run on 12 volts. Your furnace will run on 12 volts, but it gets its heat source from the propane. So when you're ready to uh, not use the furnace anymore, switch off the, to the off setting, and they'll turn off the propane off right away, but it'll keep the uh, furnace running for a couple minutes as like a wind down period. All right, from bedroom here, pretty simple, got your bed, got the storage underneath, no session here with the TV, DVD player, so for your antenna, twist up to get signal, and then you can turn it around to adjust to for a signal, when you're ready to take it down, make sure these two notches line up, and then bring it down, there we go, and it's all the way down. Get the other vent here, which is like I would like the uh, washer. That concludes our walkthrough with your trailer, happy camping.